Hello, it's Auto Darts. Today I wanted to do the first video in a new series that I'm calling the 101 series. Now, I am so sorry there have not been videos. Uh, it has been very challenging having a newborn who is teething and sick and uh, a lot of other things. So, <laughs> she is amazing and I will introduce her on the channel and I am really excited to really ramp up the content. Uh, there was also another mistake with some equipment. I sold off all of my photography gear and I was buying, and film gear, and was buying new equipment, and uh, Sony, who makes the new camera I bought, I purchased, which is the a7 III, uh, seems to have delayed it by at least a month. So I'm currently without a camera. This is my iPhone, and still shooting 4K. We'll see how it looks, and if it's decent enough, then I will shoot the Nemesis tutorial this week. Uh, if it doesn't turn out very well, then I'm going to wait, and, and that will be the first video with a new camera. When that camera shows up, I am going to hit you guys with a barrage of content, because I have so many ideas, and I feel really sad not making videos. It's my favorite part of doing this. Anyway, this is LiPo Alarm 101. I have got about five messages a week for almost for forever now, about how these work. And I just wanted to do a really quick video to show how, how they function. There are two basic types that I sell. This is a 2 to 3S, this is a 2 to 8S. Uh, you'll see there are markings on the back here that say 1 to 8S. And those each of these leads corresponds with a plug on the balance connector for your battery. This is a 3S pack here, so it has three leads and a common, which is the ground, and that is makes for four, four cords. Now, if you have a 2S, you're going to see only three because you've got one common and then your two cells. Now, these work with all LiPos that are out there and you cannot plug them in wrong. And the reason I know this is because I've tried them every single way possible and they just will not turn on because they do need that um, circuit to be completed to work. So, basically, it's very simple. You want to start from your your 1S and the 0, or the, sorry, the minus and the 1, 2, 3S, and you're gonna plug it in. Now, I obviously plug that in backwards because I almost always forget which direction. But once you plug it in, you're going to get a readout, and then you should be good to go. Now, there is nothing more you need to do than this. This does not require soldering or any other setup. This will give you readouts, and both of these will scream at you when the voltage is too low at about, I believe it's about 3.5 volts. But the thing, all you need to know is plug this in, always use it when you're running a blaster, take it off when you're not using it, and if it, uh, if it screams at you, then that means you need to uh, discontinue use of your battery immediately. Now, it does not matter whether you have a giant, huge pack or a tiny little pack, the function is the same. It's monitoring each cell individually, and if any one cell gets down too low, it will let you know. And that is really about it. Uh, this one does feature some, some options to change the voltage. Honestly, unless you really know what you're doing, I would just leave that alone. I've never bothered to change it because um, I've never had a battery go bad on me or have any issues with the stock settings on these. These are very inexpensive, and I think that they are just a mandatory option. Uh, with this smaller one, there you can see I plugged it in backwards, nothing's going to happen, and you plug it in correctly, and you get a very loud alarm. As a courtesy to people around you, I always like to plug up this little hole. Now, in the case of this one here, I love these, but I don't use 8S cells, so my little trick here is actually to clip all of the cells back to 3S, because these things are cheap to begin with, and this makes lining that up much, much easier. You could also take your pack and hook this up correctly, and you could make a little witness mark with a Sharpie. That could help you remember in the future that, hey, that's how those go together. That way you're like, oh, obviously that's the way it goes. That's it for now. I'm going to do a whole series on this. Let me know what in the comments, what other things would you like a 101 sort of basics skill course on? And I'm going to keep going on these, and I'm really excited to share some new content, and I'll see you next week. Until next time, I'm out of darts.